What's going on guys, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and in this video I'm going to be previewing what could arguably be our biggest game of the season. I have never been quite so worried and sceptical going into a game, especially against lower league opposition as I am in this game. The FA Cup semi-final, Arsenal v Wigan, absolutely massive make or break game for Arsenal. There is so much riding on this game. Our last chance to really salvage something from what has arguably been a pretty poor season, a, a declining season, should I say, because it did actually start off pretty well. But um, it is a huge game. There is absolutely no doubts about that whatsoever. Wigan going into this game with absolutely no pressure on them whatsoever. You can almost guarantee that every single player that plays for them is going to give absolutely everything in this game. But of course, the focus is on us. The pressure is with Arsenal, with Arsene Wenger to go out there, get the win, end the trophy drought. And I'm actually kind of um, a bit worried especially looking at previous fixtures where we've been under pressure in big games. Looking at Everton, looking at Liverpool, City, a big out. I'm not saying we're going to get absolutely spanked by Wigan, but I, I, I just feel a bit, a bit nervous, to be honest, because I've seen how Wigan, they, um, they beat Man City. They're going into this game. They're going to be really cool going into this game. They're going to, like I said, they've got no pressure on, on for them because people expect them to lose, whereas we're expected to go out there, put in a good performance, get the win, and like I said, in the trophy drought, but it's, it's going to be anything but simple for us because we're going into this game with absolutely zero confidence. Every player has to put in a really good performance for us. And Wigan, like I said, I watched them when they played Man City and they beat them at the Etihad and they put so much effort into that game. And they've got a load of players that you know are always going to give 110%. A couple of players that spring to mind. Um, MacArthur, I thought he absolutely ran the show. Uh, against City and then people like Emerson Boyce who you can almost guarantee are going to give everything in this game um, They are an all-round a very solid team. They've got a very good manager as well They've got a couple of wins together in the championship although they did lose to uh, Millwall the other night But they did rotate their team quite significantly now It does actually look like they're prioritizing this game which does surprise me because I thought I wanted to focus on promotion more But it does look like Wigan are actually going to seal a playoff place which they probably rightly deserve this season because they are stringing together quite a few wins Deservedly, they've got into their spot in the FA Cup semi-final. And like I said, I am nervous because Wigan really could do us a number. If we play like we did against Everton, we, we are going to get beat. And we can't lose this game. There is only one possible result that we can get out of this one. And that is an Arsenal win. If we lose, I, I dread to think what's going to happen. There is going to be such an uproar. There, the repercussions if we lose are going to be absolutely massive. People calling for Wenger's head. I, I don't know. We're already having players like Santa Cazorla. I'm um, talking about Arsenal having a lack of winning mentality that's just come out uh, before the game, which ideally isn't the best time for him to be saying things like that. But uh, on his own head, be it. We've got to get the win in this one. When I look at Arsenal and I pick the team lineup, um, there are a couple of players that I really do want to see drop for this one. I want to see Podolski dropped. I want to see Giroud dropped. I am getting really sick of these players that are just not getting involved in the games because at times it is a bit like we are playing. Without, without, with 10 men, with 9 men, because it's ridiculous, the lack of effort from some of these players. Maybe it's not lack of effort, but they're just fading out of the games. And we need every single player on the pitch to be giving their all in this one. We have to win it. Um, so my Arsenal lineup for this one, Fabianski in goal, Sanyo right back, Mertzaka, Vermaelen, Gibbs if he's back, um, Kalstrom, Ramsey, uh, Chamberlain, Rosicki, Kazola and Sonogo. Obviously, drop Giroud, um, like I said, he's just not been giving us anything up top at the moment. Podolski uh, just wasn't involved against Everton, so I want to see Kozola on the left-hand side, Rosicki through the middle, and we need pace in this one with Chamberlain. Because you know that Ever um, not Everton, Wigan, should I say, are going to be making loads and loads of counter-attacking play against us. That's where we've really, really been unstuck against teams recently. Uh, it happens against Everton. And it actually having against Swansea. And it's not, it really, that's an area where I do feel vulnerable. And if we've got someone like um, Monreal playing again, I'm going to be really sceptical going into this game. I'm praying that Gibbs is fit for this one. Vermaelen, I know he's a quality centre-back, but he, he can't be ball-watching like he has been in recent games. He's got to be putting in a good performance. He's our captain, for God's sake. He's meant to be one of our best players. I want to see him putting in a good shift in this one. Score predictions, are oh, I'm going to go with a 2-0 win to Arsenal. I think if we win this game, we can really turn things around, have a strong finish to the season, but of course, we have to win it. I don't know how many times I've said it, 
But it's so important that we win this game. It's going to be a great day out for all the fans. Day at Wembley. I'm really looking forward to it. But please, Arsenal, just get the win. We've got to be winning this tournament. And it is in our hands. We can't lose. Just can't. The repercussions will be massive. So we've got to be getting the win in this game. Leave your score predictions in the comments box below. If you have enjoyed the video, it would be great if you click the like button. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV as well as my own channel, AFC Game by Game. We're going to do this. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.